Hello guys, it's Clumsy Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, you can see me give Man Manky. <laughs> Why can't I pronounce her fucking name? I meant to say Frankie. You can see me giving her the makeover I gave her in the last Rex to Riches episode. And I will also talk about a brand new topic that's been new in the Sims community. So if you want to see that or hear that, whatever, stay but before i start with the actual video don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you like content like this you can also give this video a like if you like it and if you have a comment an opinion something flying around in your head don't forget to leave that down below in the comment section but let's start with the actual video as i said i gave frankie a makeover in the last episode if you don't know who frankie is as i said she's the main character of my Rex to Riches challenge. I gave her a big makeover that you guys were able to vote on in the episode before the makeover episode. And that's the result of that. Things that changed were her hair. She had long black hair. Now she has shoulder, shoulder. I was trying to say short, but also shoulder. So that was what came out of that. She has shorter hair that was supposed to be shoulder length and it's blonde. Another thing that changed was her style. She had no style before, it was all just functional to not freeze to death when she was still homeless. But now she has a boho style. I know, I'm so sorry. I hope I did a good job if you are actually a person who has a boho style and you think I did a terrible job. I'm so sorry. I kind of knew what I wanted, but I was not really able to translate it into the makeover. So I was struggling, let me tell you, but I hope I did a good job. And now to the most important part for most of you probably, the CC links to all the items I used in this makeover are down below in the description box. So if you're just here to check out the items, click on the link and then that's it for the video for you. Thank you for clicking on it anyways and see you in the next video hopefully. But if you want to hear slash see me rant a little bit you can stay feel free to do so i know i've been pretty negative in the last few videos and i'm trying my best to be positive but there's been a news is that how you say it like there was a leak for a new gameplay pack and i want to talk about it of course if you don't know what i'm even talking about there's been a leak a few days ago for a new gameplay pack this gameplay pack seemed to be about weddings now it's official we're gonna have a pack with the theme wedding whatever it's probably a gameplay pack and yeah i want to talk about it because i'm of course kind of mad don't get me wrong i love weddings i love weddings in the sims not so much in real life because you know social event a lot of people i don't need that the wedding theme in itself is nothing i'm mad about to be honest the issue isn't this pack we're gonna get okay it's part of the issue but it's not the issue itself my issue with a lot of sims 4 packs is that they are fucking random they are so random i don't know what's going through the head of the sims team sometimes don't forget that gameplay packs are 20 bucks not 10 like the stuff packs not five like the kids 20 so you're gonna pay 20 bucks to have better weddings like i i don't get it i really don't get it so we have kids now that have really specific themes so if you want to have this specific theme in your game you're paying five bucks for this one particular kid and then you have it in the game wedding is something really specific why isn't that a kid there's probably a lot of content in this gameplay pack so that's probably why it isn't just a kid but why isn't it a stuff pack then you know wedding stuff not wedding gameplay what even is this i have this german sims news site open on my phone right now and they went into a bit more detail and something i read was world of tartosa which sounds like we will get a new world which makes it make more sense that it's a gameplay pack when there's a whole world in it but i'm not sure if i read that right and still it doesn't really make sense to make it into a gameplay pack just because we get a world with it that's also pretty random why do we get a world with a wedding pack like it also doesn't it, it doesn't make sense all in all the theme of all is of course weddings planning weddings having a best man having a bachelor or bachelorette party of course there are pictures in the article 
that seem to belong to the new pack and one thing i want to say that i really really like is that we will get a range of different weddings not the typical white dress white people wedding you know what i mean we will also get a variety of traditional weddings there's at least one photo which seems like maybe an indian wedding but i'm not sure and i don't want to offend anyone so if that's wrong i'm truly sorry please correct me in the comment section but i was at an indian wedding once and it kind of looked like this so i love that love that aspect love that we will get the chance to celebrate different weddings i still don't get the gameplay factor of that and here's the thing i love the i hope that's the right name generations pack from the sims 3 of course it has a different name in german and i only know the german name this pack for me personally is one of the best packs the sims has ever came out with this is such a good pack for gameplay for family gameplay and i love it do we have a generations pack in the sims 4 no we have a parenting pack which is 20 bucks because it's a gameplay pack now we will get a wedding pack which is also a gameplay pack which is also 20 bucks technically you could say the generations pack was 40 bucks now you have two gameplay packs you pay 20 bucks each and then you have the generations pack and you pay 40 and 40 in the sims 3 40 and in the sims 4 40 bucks but that's not the case there's still things missing like prom a lot of stuff for teenagers in general like get, le learning how to drive of course we don't have cars to begin with in the sims 4 but there are still so many details we've got in the generations pack that is missing in the sims 4 in general that we will maybe get with different packs. So technically, if you want to have the whole Generations pack experience in The Sims 4, you have to pay far more money than you had to pay in The Sims 3. I hope you can follow me with that. Another example. In The Sims 3, we had the Supernatural pack for 40 bucks. In The Sims 4, we have a Vampire pack for 20 and a Witch pack for 22. And if you put that together, it's 40 again. And you paid 40 bucks in The Sims 3 for the Supernatural. And here you could say, okay, here you also pay 40 bucks for the Supernatural. But that's not the case because we don't have the whole Supernatural experience. There are still fairies missing, werewolves and other stuff. They would have to come out with other packs to give us more Supernatural creatures. And then we would have to pay far more than 40 bucks for the whole Supernatural experience. And that's my problem. I don't know why they do this, but they always split off the packs into ridiculous amount of numbers and ridiculous themes. I mean, we have a jungle adventure gameplay pack instead of a big traveling pack. We have a, w or we will get a wedding gameplay pack instead of getting a generations pack. It seems very money hungry. And of course it's a company, of course they are money hungry, but it's super disrespectful. I know there will be a lot of people who are really excited about this pack and I can see why. Weddings are a big part of people's lives and of course most people do normal family gameplay in The Sims and having a big cool wedding would be super cool. So they will buy the pack, they will be happy and that's okay I guess. But the problem still stands, even if this gameplay pack will be the best gameplay pack to ever be released in The Sims 4 franchise, there is still the same problem. So to round it a bit up i like the wedding theme i don't like it to be a gameplay pack if it would be a kit th this would be the perfect kit theme in my opinion i don't need a world with with the wedding pack a career would be kind of cool like wedding planner if there would be a career like wedding planner it would make sense to make it a stuff pack so the wedding theme with a job like wedding planner in the stuff pack would be reasonable and okay for 10 bucks why not it's maybe too big for a kid i can see that but a gameplay pack and they're gonna put a random world into it so it's more reasonable to make it a gameplay pack girl no i also want to say that of course there are there's only a little amount of details out yet a little amount of infos so maybe i am completely wrong about this and there is so much content that it isn't possible to put it into a stuff pack maybe i'm completely wrong and i'm negative for no fucking reason but i don't really think so because to be honest we've had so many packs that were letdowns so i think my concerns are 
not coming from nowhere. What I want you to do, or I would at least appreciate it, is for you to write down below in the comment section what you think about it. Have you even heard of the leak yet? Have you heard about this pack in general yet? Or are you completely surprised? And if you heard about it and read into it a little bit, what are your thoughts? So please let me know down below in the comment section what you think of this whole topic. Also let me know what you think of the makeover, if you saw some items that you like and now downloaded, you know, just let me know your thoughts. What is going on in your head? beautiful head and i think that's also it for the video sorry for being so ranty and negative again but it is what it is if you clicked on this video and stayed up until this point thank you so 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 much i appreciate it it means the world to me again if you like content like this you can follow me on here and you can also follow me on instagram and tiktok for more sims 4 content the links are down below in the description box if you like this video give it a like and again if you have a comment opinion whatever leave that down below in the comment section stay safe stay healthy stay hydrated i hope i will see you again in the next video bye